In this video, let's practice reading an imperial caliper. This here is an imperial caliper. Now we know it's an imperial caliper, we're talking about inches, because this bottom slidey part, the bottom slidey part, it actually goes beyond 10. So from 0 to 25, this here is not the SI caliper, but it's actually the imperial caliper because it goes past 10 all the way to 25. So we begin with inches. The biggest number here is 3, 3 inches, and we have 4 inches. Now the 0, this, this is the 0 is going to be where I'm going to be really focusing on. And the key is where are we hitting here? And I can see that we're past 3 inches and we're before 4 inches. So if I burn my eyes here on the 0, we're going to 3.3 .3 something. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this, each of these parts, this part here is a tenth of an inch. This is a tenth of an inch. This is a tenth of an inch. So it's nice that we know that this 0 mark here is past 3.3. .3. So we know for sure that we're at least at 3.3. .3. And what we took care of is the tenth, the tenth digit. This is step one. We just use our eyes, we see it's 3.3. .3. But we also have a bit more to go. Part two. Part two, we focus on these pieces here we definitely pass two of these pieces. Now, how wide is this piece here? That's the question. We know how wide this piece here, this piece here we already determined is gonna be one-tenth of an inch. So this piece here is gonna be one-tenth of an inch or 0 0.1 inches. Now, if this is 0 0.1 inches, how much is one quarter of it? one quarter times 0.1 is going to be the length of this piece here. Now what about two of these? Because we pass one, two of these. So this essentially is going to be two out of four. So this is going to be half of 0.1 inches. So when we're focusing on this width here happens to be one quarter of the word of you multiply 0 0.1 inches 0 0.1 inches is also one tenth of an inch so i could have done one fourth times one tenth so a quarter of 0 0.1 inches we have a quarter which is 0.25 times 0.1 is equals to 0 0.025 so if this little tiny piece is 0 0.025, we know that we pass two of them. So we pass two of them, it's gonna be double this amount. So I'm gonna go times two equals. So from here all the way to here, two of these, it's gonna be, so basically we definitely pass 0 0.05. And notice how we're focusing on the hundredth digit. So for part two, as I'm focusing on these pieces, we're definitely gonna write our answer using two decimals after the decimal place. If this answer was 0.13, I would write 13 here using these two digits. So part one, we just see the 10th digit. Part two, we write our answer within these two digits here. So another way of getting the number 0 0.05 is saying, we know what this piece here is. This piece here is one tenth of an inch, three to four. So this here is one tenth of an inch times, and this happens to be one, two. We pass two out of one, two, three, four. This is two fourth, two fourth of this section here. We're taking two, two out of four of this part here. Alternatively, we know we passed two. This is gonna be one half of 0.1 inches. I can reduce that. So this here 
is equals to one tenth times one half, which equals one fortieth. One divided by forty is also pardon me, this should be ten times two is twentieth. This should be one twentieth. So let me try that again. One divided by twenty is 0 0.05, which is the same answer. So I know it's a bit confusing. You have to kind of think through this, but sometimes people see the decimals better than the fractions. All right, we finished part two. Now let's focus on the last part. Okay, so we finished the tenth. We got the hundredth, two digits. And part three, we focus on launching upwards. From the zero, we try to launch upwards, but we bonk our head on the ceiling. We launch, launch, bonk, 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 bonk. Lots of head bonking. We're almost there. We're trying to align things. Bonk, bonk. Oh man, pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. But here we burst through the ceiling and this line continues perfectly throughout. So the key number we're going to think about is 15. So on the 15th try, we finally break through. So in terms of part three, we have three digits, one, two, three, and we write the digits always to the far right. And so this is going to be the third part. So the final answer is going to be these three numbers all added up. You can use your calculator and you can even line things up if you want to do it by hand. 3.300, zero, zero. it's good to fill in these zeros, plus point zero, zero. plus point zero, zero, 0.005, oops, zero, 0.050, zero. that's this part here. Now you don't have to line these up. If you want to just use a calculator, you just add these three numbers. So 0, 0.050 0 is the same thing as 0, 0.5. And then plus 0 0.015. So if you add it up, you have a 5 here, you have a 6 here, you have a 3 here, there's a decimal 3. So the final answer is 3.365 inches. And what's nice about the imperial caliper is that it's very, very precise. It's precise all the way to the 10th, 100, and 1,000th.